Hey, what's happening, guys? Happy Saturday to you. Of course, if you're not watching this on Saturday, happy whatever the day of the week it is to you. <laughs> anyway, I got a request from a viewer as to how to drive a 10 watt LED. Well, I have one here 10 watt LED. Now, you're buying this new, you're going to want to look at the specs that come with it so you know what voltage and what current to drive it with but if you don't have that information you can figure it out yourself it's not super hard so if we take a close-up look here at our 10 watt LED you can see we have three rows of three and each row is in parallel and each of column is in series so if we go off the assumption that the average LED is going to draw 3 volts then our 3 times 3 is 9 volts so we're going to run this about 9 volts I'm going to kick it up just a little bit higher to 10 volts no nine, let's go nine and a half volts nine and a half volts seems like a good place to be so now we have two things we know our LED needs 10 watts. We know we're going to give it 9.5 volts DC. So what we're missing here, here's P, here's V. We don't have R and we don't have I to complete our circuit. So a simple Ohm's Law calculator will allow us to come in here I got Gnome's Law calculator here 9 volts, and we're going to clear all this out 9.5 volts at 10 watts calculate and you see we want our current to be 1.05 amps so you know 1.0, 1, 1 amp is good you don't need to overdrive anything and saying we're getting a resistance of 9.25 but what, we, what we're looking for here is our current we're going to go with 1.0 amp so now we have the specifics of our circuit and we can build our circuit and what I'm going to use to build it is super simple I know you probably can't read what that says but this is an LM317 a simple voltage regulator and let's uh let's draw ourselves a little picture of the guy right here. Three, one, seven. This is a T. Doesn't matter. There's our three legs, and they are the adjust, the output, and the input. All you gotta keep in mind is that between the adjust and the output this IC will keep at 1.25 volts so what we can do based on those information we have in Ohm's Law is we can build ourselves a simple little circuit so this is our LM317 this is our input our output and our adjust we will run our input up to our 9.5 volts DC and we will take our output over here and we'll just call this block thing here our, um, our LEDs times 9 and that from the output goes to ground now what we have to do here is put a resistor in the middle here and then run our adjust between the resistor and our load now I'm not going to run this thing up to its full 10 watts because number one I don't have heat sinks and you're going to want a heat sink on your LED and you're going to want a heat sink on your LN317 Plus, I don't have a one point, what is it, one point two? 
I think, ohm resistor that is high enough to carry it. So what we're going to do is we are going to put in, in this case, a 10 ohm, 10 watt resistor. So now we could recalculate our circuit, but you know, it's going to be good enough. So let's hook it up. Here's our LM317. This is adjust out in. So our in is taking the VCC here. Okay. Here is our 10 watt, 10 ohm resistor. I'm going from the output just to basically nowhere. It doesn't matter. Then I'm going to take a jumper wire from the adjust pin and I'm going to bring it over to the same row in the breadboard as that leg there which will work for our purposes then I'm just going to take another little jumper wire to come over here okay so now we can bring in our LED and I'm going to bring in an ammeter to put in here so that we can see that our current is remaining constant pardon that so I'm going to take positive lead of the ammeter put it into our output there negative lead the ammeter goes to the positive lead of our LED which I will then plug into ground that will complete our circuit there's our power supply set up 9.5 volts now watch I'm just going to turn the amperage all the way up so we could whoops knock my microphone a little bit we could potentially be putting 5 amps into this if our circuit doesn't work but I think it'll work so let's hook up the power supply hook it up the ground first so that all our potentials are the same and then I'm gonna hook up the other end and there we go so we are at what 120 milliamps and yeah that's still pretty bright let me uh you find an actual piece of blank paper also I don't want that on there too long so I'm gonna disconnect it because everything's gonna get hot this should help not blind you guys so much all right so I'm gonna hook it up again there that's better you can see it's on right yeah, you see that it's on that shouldn't blind you so much now we're gonna go over to the power supply okay there you see our power supply let me see if I can bring everything over here I'm I'm going to turn down the power here a little bit so that we don't end up overheating everything let me just try and get everything in here okay so I can take that off now you can see that's still on you can see our power is there you can see our current and if I twiddle the current knob absolutely nothing happens we have in fact created our constant current LED driver super simple even a Patriots fan could do it if you're a Patriots fan I do not apologize I'm in it anyway guys that's it for today always remember when you're done remove your leads from the current settings that's a dead short 
So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons, especially you new guys who just signed up. Really appreciate it. A big thanks to you right there in front of the TV or holding the phone or in front of the laptop. I appreciate you being here. That's it. I'm out. Peace.